How's it going, everyone? Just getting some things set up real fast. Sorry about the way I had some issues right before I was about to launch and it just kind of blew up. Um, let me know, stream quality good? I'm still testing these things. It always tells me different things right before I go live. Um, so let me know if the audio is good, if the video looks good. Um, just let me know so I sort of have, I guess, a, a way to um, measure this so the next time I do it, I can always improve. But um, today, so I'm actually going to be doing, um, you know, playing Super Mario 64. And Super Mario 64 was a, a game I played so much as a kid. And, but I would always make up these scenarios in the game where I was employed. Um, I was either a pizza delivery man, I was a um, vacation, I guess, spa worker. <laughs> Um, I was a animal control officer. There's all these different things that I did. Um, but, uh, hold on a second. It's telling me the stream quality is bad. <laughs> YouTube is so messed up when it comes to this stuff. So let me know again. I'm going to keep checking the, the chat, um, to see if the stream quality is actually horrendous or if it's actually playing back at a decent rate. Um, but yeah, so the first one we're going to start off of, so anyone who has watched my Games Within Games video, um, the games I created in other games. Um, I, the first one was I always thought I was a pizza delivery man. Um, so actually I went and uh, went ahead and, and gave Mario a, his own pizza delivery hat. I also changed his mustache a bit, so if anyone notices that, I figured I'd give him some curls. But, um, <clears throat> let's see. So someone said the audio is really echoey. But if everyone else thinks it's okay, it might be echoey depending on how, uh, I guess, the rendering output of it. But um, anyways, okay. So yeah, so the first one is, for anyone who was watching that video, this, I used to do this um, challenge in Sumar 64 called the Pizza Man Delivery Challenge, where I was employed um, either by the bob or something. And I would always have to carry this crate to the top of the level um and we would try to basically get up there as fast as possible and in order to make you know, mario moves very slow when he has the crate however if you jump you know he increases speed with every single jump so in order to get up there in the time that we needed we would then just keep keep jumping as fast as we could to, to build up speed I'm catching up in the chat one second. Scotty Animations. Hi, Swanky. Please say something about my comment I left right here and now. It would make me happy. Also, I'd love your videos. Thank you, Scotty. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all of you for tuning in on this Friday night, um, wherever you are. It's uh, 6.30 here. Um, <clears throat> so the thing about the box is, as I was about to explain, <laughs> and there it goes. Um, so I'm actually going to redo that. So the thing is, <laughs> the box, when you hold, so those, these boxes are called cork boxes. And in Mario 64, if you walk over geometry in the level, um, so basically how the worlds are made. So like this thing right here, this pack of stones, you can see all the different creases in the geometry. There's like, there's a, there's a fold up here. There's a line right here. It's really like a trapezoid and like an, uh, like an octagon, just, but if I walk over any of these seams while holding a box, it makes me drop the box. So these are things we discovered as a kid because we didn't know otherwise. Um, but yeah, for this level in particular, we used to have to take up this box to the top of the mountain um, for King Babam. We would set a time limit and we would try to get up there as fast as we could, otherwise the pizza would get cold. Um, and this is something we did pretty often and once, um, I'm sure some of you are aware there is a, a two-player uh, ROM hack available right now that actually lets you play as Luigi as well. Um, and that made things even more interesting because we then would play a two-player where the first, second person had to attack the person carrying the pizza box um, and prevent them from delivering it. But see, as you can see, I'm jumping over all these creases in the level because it will cause me to drop my box. Yeah. 
Hey Gyro or Euro. I'm not sure how that's pronounced because <laughs> I know people pronounce it two different ways. Uh, no problem. Um, but uh, let's just see. Gardevoir. Oh, pa half past midnight here. <clears throat> so this one um, is pretty easy. I'll be honest. Like Once you get the hang of it, this is pretty much a straight shot. I mean, obviously, I'm not doing it to a time limit right now. Um, I've done this a lot of times, so it's also not the most, I guess, cumbersome. But um, when I was younger, obviously, I wasn't as articulate when I would climb up this. <laughs> I would just, like, drop the box constantly. Um, and as you play it more and more, you sort of learn, learn these things along the way. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> Anarchy World. First to deliver the pizza, we have to talk about parallel dimensions. <laughs> um, anyone who watches... Jeez, those point I, point 0.5a press videos are, are simply fantastic. They are some of my favorite videos on YouTube. Um, the science behind Super Mario 64 and, and how... I don't know. I don't, Panin Cow or however his YouTube channel is pronounced. Simply fantastic. And for those who have not watched them, I highly recommend going and watching them. Um, but this was pretty much the the gist for this first one. You know, you take the pizza up, the King Bomb Bomb, um, and then <laughs> he picks you up and throws you off the mountain. But uh, a lot of times we didn't really have any, I guess, finalized closures for these. We were just, you know, do the do the task on a time limit. Um, Womp's Fortress was far more difficult than uh, King Bomb Bomb's place. So actually, I'm gonna swing over there real fast. Um, and I know probably a lot of you are familiar with these two because you probably have watched a video um, where I did these two. But um, before I get into some of the other occupations that Mario had, um, I wanted to kind of dive into these ones as a recap. So this level in particular was harder because there's a lot more there's a lot more obstacles. There's also two blocks, um, which is nice because one breaks. I guess there's, there's two blocks at uh, King Babam's Fortress too. Um, but uh this one's more difficult because you know i walk on these things or if i box into these sides and breaks so like i had to be careful getting up this i actually have to jump up this backwards otherwise mario will grab the edge and the box will break um but <laughs> these over here especially when you're having someone attack you um very very difficult to avoid these things it's actually almost impossible i'll be honest but uh, as a kid, we could you know, always come through and do it like this, and just carry the crate through the level as I die. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm going to skip up here and grab this other box. That's one thing I wish Mario 64 had was a sort of like a soft reset for levels. Um, they could take me back down, um, especially you know on when I played it when I was younger, having that soft reset and not having to exit the level to get another box. But... Um, LOS. <laughs> nice beard. Thank you. Let's see. That scared me so bad. <laughs> King Babam is game bro. King Babam is mad because he didn't get his diet kelp. <laughs> is that a is that a SpongeBob reference? I can't remember. Um if it's not, um it instantly made me remind uh, made me think of that though. Um Hey Burrito Cats 42. Um I'm catching up. Please respond. But yeah, shout out. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, all of you. I mean, I really appreciate it. I love... I mean, I, I'm honored that you think me carrying up a box in Super Mario 64 is worth your time. <laughs> um, I certainly enjoy it. So I hope you do the same. As I once again die. <clears throat> so once we're done with this, there's a... I'll actually... We're going to a tiny, huge island... Because there's a a certain situation that you can do there that's kind of interesting that actually has to do with resetting um, the game mechanics um, for Mario. Um, so right now, I'm walking, you know, obviously with this crate, I can move around and things. When Mario normally picks up big objects in the game, he can't jump with them. However, there's some things you can do to actually restore his, um, his jumping abilities and almost make it seem like he's carrying a crate even though he's not. Let's see. 
can, can you give us an, oh, a very over dramatic narration of the process, like an over excited soccer announcer? <laughs> um, when I when I do, how about this? When I do the uh, next one, which is a tiny huge island, I will try my best to uh, go in and kind of some theatrics with it. And the the occupation that I will be doing there will make sense for that, um, because I'm very much trying to sell an experience to someone. Um, so here, got the got the crates at the top of the thing. Pizza delivered, not on time because I took my good old time. But um, <clears throat> one thing I also wish that Mario 64 had more of, I'm just gonna let him crush me, <laughs> um, was more cork boxes in different levels. Um, because that was the thing as a kid was always, um, I wish there was more of, was these boxes more throughout the game. Because they're only in a few levels, surprisingly. There's, Feed him the pizza and then let him squish me. <laughs> Dakota vs. Games. Hello, thank you for tuning in. Okay, so now we're gonna jump over to Tiny Huge Island. Um, hey, Tetra Bit Gaming, thank you for stopping by. Um, for those who don't know, Tetra Bit Gaming has a uh, some pretty cool series on this channel. Um, a lot to do with exploring. Um, different areas and games, but also he has a series that talks about, I believe it's Polygon Counts, um, and talking about the graphics from the old Mario games versus the new ones. Um, definitely recommend checking those out, but uh, you know, thank you so much for stopping by Touch a bit. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go Tiny Huge, which is actually one of my favorite, it's, this is one of my favorite levels in the game because it's the one level that allows you to do I guess two things you normally couldn't do um, in terms of resizing the enemies to make them either bigger or smaller. Um, if I remember correctly, it's in here. I remembered incorrectly. That's the snow level. Let's see. Uh, this one. There we go. So I'm going to go... I'm trying to remember which one's easier. I'm going to start off in the big one. Um... Because I'll have to be in that one in the end anyways, because only certain enemies show up in it. But, um... <clears throat> Scotty Animation, Swanky, have you ever tried pretzel sticks with PB&J? They are good. I actually do not like pretzels. <laughs> um, I'm cursed. I know a lot of people... Um, that does sound really good. I'm a big fan of PB&J, but just not with the pretzels. Um, let's see. To tip top of Tiny Huge Island. That might be it. We'll choose one of these. Hey Luigi Mario, sorry that you're tired. I know it's really late there. <laughs> um, so let's see. I gotta remember how to get up here, because we're gonna take the long way. Because I, I, I could have gone into the um, the smaller level first and then climbed up there, but I believe I can. I remember correctly, there's a way I can. Oh, I can take the shell. That'll work. This is one of the thing, my favorite things about this level too is the climbing things with the shell. You gotta once again be, geez, he just flew up the wall. You have to be careful of uh, the sides of the stages because if you hit a certain piece of geometry again, they will uh, basically kick me off the shell. If remember correctly, there's a way I can climb up this thing right here. Okay, and this will let me go to where I need to go. I'm surprised I remember this stuff. Okay, we're gonna get off the shell now. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> these enemies are up here. So this is called a, uh, a Chukya. So, um, these would later become the, the guys who toss you, sort of, in, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, or maybe they're the spiritual successor, I don't know. So these enemies are, are interesting because, like I said before, when you pick them up, it causes you to become slow and you can't do things. So what I'm going to show you right here is, so part of what I would do, so Mario at this point would not be a pizza delivery man. Mario would be a spa employee. So this tiny huge island, where we are at right now, this was a vacation destination. And it was up to Mario to come in and show people around the island, showing them the sights of the island, and that's the role that Mario had. Um, and the first stop was to go up here, um, to the top of the mountain where there is this, you know, the actual spa. 
Um, this is what I would take the enemy, and this is actually where you reset the perimeters for uh, carrying enemies to begin with. So we're going to pick them up. Okay, so now... Interesting enough, actually I'm going to do something real fast because I just noticed something. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys see in the top right corner, but there's like a Lakitu just kind of chilling way out here. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, because he's way... Ah, okay, so I see what happened. So, he's still aggressive towards Mario, so he raises to the height of Mario wherever I'm at in the level. So if I go up to the top, he'll probably follow me. But, um... <clears throat> but, uh, okay, so as you can see, I can't do anything. So this is where we take the... Our client, the <laughs> Chukya, to the top. This is going to take a while, because Mario walks so slow. But uh, once we get it, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can do that announcer voice. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is what I would do. I would come up here, walk slowly across this bridge, collect these coins, while taking my client, who is at this vacation resort, to the spa at the top of the mountain. All in hopes that once I reach that spa, I can then explore the rest of the island, um, because there's a sort of an exploit you can... Uh, well, a, I guess mechanic in the game that you can exploit. <clears throat> the switch is now off. Yeah, it is Lakita's day off. He's just kind of chilling up in the sky. <clears throat> but, um... It's... This was... <laughs> another thing is, like, this game type was particularly... It was fun, but it had such a long setup time. I mean, you think about it, it's taking me two or three minutes per try... And if I mess up at all while I'm carrying the Chukya and going around the island, you know, the Chukya is going to explode and then I can't do it anymore. Um, so yeah, it just took forever to get up here. Um, but once you get up here, it's pretty neat. <clears throat> Spiffy, I'm actually not 100% sure of the Chukya glitch in Wet Dry World. Is that the one where you get them underwater and they pick you up? Um, that was out of my wheelhouse as a kid. I wasn't that creative. <laughs> But um, I did do this. So once I'm in the water, um, as you can see, now I'm just swimming and holding this guy. <laughs> so also at Mario 64, um, you can breathe through your feet, which is really weird. Um, I always did that as a kid too. Just somehow Mario can breathe through his feet. He has gills on his feet. But um, okay, so now that I'm in the water, you can, once I get out, now I behave differently. You can already see Mario's walking a lot faster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. So that's what I was talking about, about these creases in the geometry. So this right here, this edge just killed the Chuck yet. Before I even got to show you guys anything. Okay, let's do that again. Actually, I should have just jumped off the level. <laughs> yeah. William Angerstein, yes, you have to wait 10 years. And actually, you have to wait another 10 years because now I have to do it again. <sighs> the frustrations. But as a, as a kid, you know, I had all the time in the world. I would just, you know, if I messed up, I would just try it again. Um, so let's try this again. <laughs> Stogie, I breathe through my, my feet every day. <laughs> Me too. It's a very, it's a very good, um, technique. Let's get on the shell again. Okay, let's go up this mountain again. I'm afraid to touch any creases in the geometry because I'm just afraid I'm going to fall. Don't- No! Gosh dang it! <laughs> uh, Alright, well I can still get up there some other way.
Oh, I guess yeah, I forgot there's a cannon here too. I can just take that up. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna shoot. I think. Hopefully this will. I forget where you're supposed to aim when you're shooting up the mountain. Um, we'll see if this works. That did not work. <laughs> <sighs> to the drawing board again. Hey, Gina World 70. Um, really like your animations. Uh, I. Can't remember what video I saw them on, if they were on your channel, but uh, I did check them out at one point. I recognized the name. Okay, let's see if I can shoot up here again. I'm so bad at this. Jeez. <sighs> oh, hey, uh, Proto Mike V. I got your email, by the way, about the, uh, the interview. Sorry I haven't responded yet. Um, it just, I haven't got around to it. But uh, no, I definitely saw them, um, and I will be following up with you soon. We're going to try just shooting up here, because I can still get over there, I believe, through up here. At least I hope so. Actually, I'm going to try something else. If I remember correctly, I might be able to U-turn flip wall, um, U-turn flip, wall kick up here. Or maybe that only works on the small one, on the small world. Yep, okay. <sighs> okay. I'm actually going to just get the shell back. So I'm going to feed myself to this fish. Because it's, it's easier than having to walk up the castle again. Eat me, fish. Eat me. Normally he comes right after you. He's like running away from me this time. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. Alright. He's... Next time. I'm gonna jump off this... No, I'm just gonna jump off the stage. It's taking too long. <sighs> Kenneth Gutierrez, no, I did not get the Chuck yet to the top, off the top of the mountain yet. I fell down and then I failed twice getting up there. So, gonna try again. Thanks for stopping by, Commander Ding Dong. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. And yeah, this time, so anyone who's tuned into my past streams, I've been using, I, you know, typically I use cheats and stuff. This time I'm not using cheats because I want it to be 100% authentic of like what I had to do as a kid. Um, so that's why I'm not using cheats and that's why I'm not like moon jumping to the top of the uh, uh, mountain and all that stuff. Okay, this should be good. It should be good now. Okay. Alright. Come on. This guy grab this guy. I hope this guy does not grab me and throw me off because that would be horrible. So this is something, so actually while I'm up here, I'll, I'll teach you guys something about Chukyas. So Chukyas, these guys, they can only move in straight lines towards Mario. Um, and they get hung up on any side of geometry. So like you see, he's just stuck here because he can't get to me. Um, he's on the edge. His little needle thing is, is directly on the edge. And he can't, um, he can't move unless I move to an angle where he can actually get to me. But, uh... You can use that at certain levels to actually make them fall out of bounds, which is kind of neat. I think he might be actually stuck. Pretty, oh, no. No, oh, don't throw. No! Oh, jeez. That's what I get for, for doing that. Ah, that's awful. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to get up here again. <sighs> All right. 
Maybe I'll actually try going this way. Because I know that if I remember correctly, there's a there should be there we go. Nope, come on. There we go. I'll just go this way from now on because it is a little bit longer, but there's less chance of error. As long as I don't blow off this bridge. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna somehow, I'm gonna meet my fate right here for some reason. Okay, there we go, good. All right, we are up here. Actually, oh, no, this is a different, that's not, that's out of the way. I was thinking there's a warp right there that takes you to a certain part of the mountain, but I can't remember where it's at. So now Chuck here is stuck on the actual bridge. So something I used to do as well, and I was explaining before, is I would get Chuck here to try to cross the bridge himself. Um, but most of the time it didn't work. This is actually going to be difficult because I can't approach him. <sighs> nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. <laughs> so now he's stuck. He's going to keep... <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is embarrassing. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to make it up this mountain. I need to at least once though. But he's stuck in a bad spot because now I can't pick him up. Stogie, the camera angles... In this game gave an gave me aneurysms. <laughs> yeah, it's the the camera angles in Mario 64 are a little bit, um, I guess unfriendly. I mean, they were still experimenting with the ca the camera when they made the game. I mean, especially you know being their first sort of 3D explorative game. Um, so yeah, I mean the camera had a lot of work to do. I think my biggest the you know, biggest annoying factor about um, Nintendo 64 cameras, as I get pummeled by these, oh my god, <laughs> um, is that, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, is that uh, they can't go through walls, they get stuck up on walls, so if it gets lodged behind a wall, I'm gonna die right here, I know I'm gonna die right here, because there's fire right there, and I can't get up around this. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna cheat this time. The, the authentic way is not working at all. Um, William Angerstein. So, this one in particular is well, when I get up there is I will tour the island with um, the Chukya. Another one was an animal control unit. So at the ice levels, um, you know, we had the penguins, we had the, at Tall Tall Mountain, you have the monkey. Kind of rescuing these animals and having to carry them with me um, was another occupation that I gave Mario. I mean, there's also the, you know, I hunted a lot of mysteries too, so I guess in some ways I could have, uh, been a uh, a ghost hunter. <laughs> like I, I, remember I spent a lot of time searching for the uh, the ghost metal and stuff like that, the ghoul metal. Um, so there's some other things. Come on, Mario. All right, so I'm going to definitely do the the cheat <laughs> version of this and fire up a state. So I can just come back up here. Um, because, yeah, this is being awful. Cool. Okay. So now I'm, the next time I fall, I can do, I'll can i just cheat my way to the top. Okay. Let's grab this guy. And the walking begins. So let's see if I can get 
Um, let's see what you guys are saying in the, the chat while I'm doing this long walk up here. <sighs> okay. Let's see. The D Boy is gaming. I do believe you can go into the small version of this uh, level, enter this the big version within the small version. Yeah, I think the easy, I think that's what I did. I think um, in the small version of the stage, what I used to do, because um, sort of coming back, is I would get on top of this a uh, this a uh, one up mushroom um, box right near the start, and you would get on top of it, then do a backflip on top of the level, and you'd already be up here, and then you just jump in the pipe. But um, yeah, it's weird the things you start remembering as you play these levels again. Because, like, as I was doing this, like, I sort of remembered that. But, uh, okay. Almost up there. So this time, I'm going to try to be extra careful. Um, and actually, once we are up here, I'm going to once again do the, the, uh, the save so we don't have to go through this again. Let's see. Mars is taking his good old time. Okay, definitely going to make sure we don't lose this spot. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, so now I can move. Again. Oh, and there's that Lakitu. So yeah, he does rise to the as tall as you are. As you can see, he's way up here, just circling around. <laughs> if I... The switch is now off. If my save <laughs> was corrupted after falling, I would probably cry. So, one thing... So <laughs> This is something that's really funny. So the physics are messed up on Mario now. Watch how, watch his feet when he goes down this hill. Because he'll... I just continue, I just constantly build up speed over and over and over again. It's like I can jump into a parallel dimension. But watch how fast he goes. Like his feet don't even line up. Okay. But now I can carry this guy around anywhere I want to. So this is where I would begin... The tour guide. Um, they're taking this this bomb who can't walk anymore um, because I'm carrying him. But around the different areas in the island, showing him the different sites. Um, there's really not a whole lot to see, honestly, in terms of you know this 3D world. It is literally just an island with voids all around it. But um, I would make it my mission to basically take him around the island, um, especially also try to get around the island as fast as I could. And if I dropped him, then Mario was uh, Mario was arrested because he murdered one of his clients. But um, so I'm slowly getting down. Another cruel thing I would do as well was I would try to feed the chuck yet to the fish. <laughs> so let's see if I can slide down here. And okay, so now I'm in the water swimming with this dude. Going for a leisurely or a swim at the bottom of the mountain, bottom of the island. You know, I just remember something else I used to do. And so this, uh, um, if I get hit at all, Chuck here will die. So if this guy throws one of those at me, but um, I would try to get the fish onto land. So the fish has these swooping motions when it comes at you. And you can actually make the fish pop out of water for a moment. Um, which is pretty interesting. Because I always try to get the fish stuck on land because I thought that's how you defeated it. Um, I would also try to you know, defeat the fish. I would try to defeat the piano in the... Um, oh, jeez. There goes my... <laughs> well, there goes the Chuck, yeah. Um, I would try to defeat the piano in the Big Boo's Haunt. But... Uh, so... Let's get this again. I'm just gonna actually. I'm gonna swim off the side of the mountain, or swim off the side of the mountain. I'm gonna jump off the side of the mountain. Um. Um. XX Ghost PR. Um. A lot of so you said you wish you had the animation or the uh, imagination I had as a kid. A lot of this came from really just 
I mean, we didn't have a whole lot of, I mean, a whole lot of games, I guess. We, you know, we would get a game um, and we play it for the entire year. So Mario 64, once you're done beating it, you would just try to figure out ways to make it more fun, even though you're done with the game. And that's exactly what this was. We just were messing around. We discovered that, well, we could get Chucky out of the level or out of the uh, um, that weird animation. And then we would just have fun. We would just walk around and try to do different things, invent different scenarios. My brothers, so in the game, the, in a future video, Games and Games 3, I'll actually talk about this. My brothers would instruct me to go to different places on this island. So they're like, oh, you know, the the Chuck here wants to see the fish, or the Chuck here wants to see the um, the pipe at the, the edge of the, the level. I mean, there's different kinds of things you would have to do to get there, and a lot of times I would just die in the process. So I actually need to see where I'm going, because I don't remember what's on this side of the mountain. Okay, so we're going to go down here. So this is one of the locations where uh, we would go. Um, we have to get the Chucky over here. In order to get there, you actually have to jump off this side um, and land down there. So we're going to try that. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> oh, oh, where, I just, as soon as I start, I kill the Chuck, yeah. Just my luck. Let's try this again. <clears throat> again, it's these invisible boundaries that are causing me to drop this dude. So we're gonna try... Jeez. Oh, <sighs> Sixtieth times the charm, apparently. Or maybe you know, maybe I'm remembering this incorrectly. Maybe this uh, wall over here prevents you from jumping over the edge with Chuck. Yeah, we will see. I actually get a run and jump. Yeah. Okay, so jumping on these slopes at all causes you to drop Chuck. Yeah. So that's why I keep dropping him. So we're gonna take the long way. Drago Moon Dragon. Hello Swank and Hello Gay Mountain. <laughs> so um so that's a reference to what Mario says when he tosses uh or at least what I thought Mario said as a kid when he tosses Bowser. Um for those who have watched my uh misheard video games, I always thought he said so long gay mountain. <laughs> Just because I that's what he sounds like he's saying. And um I think he's actually supposed to be saying like so long a Bowser. Um, but, uh, I have no idea. So I think this will probably kill me if I go down this way. Let me double check. Maybe? We're gonna try... I swear, I hope I don't die from this. You better not drop this. Oh my gosh. So... <sighs> this is really strange. Maybe if I'm fa facing backwards, he won't drop the Chuck yet? I can't remember the exact parameters what you have to do. So we're actually gonna do, I'm gonna move this, this the state to right here so I don't have to keep going in and out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if I jump back, okay, so the secret is to jump backwards. Cause then I should be able to not die. I don't know if I can make it up here, though. <laughs> uh, well, let me go to where I was going. So I would, we, the goal is, obviously it's difficult because you have to, um, I guess actually, actually hold on a second, I can do this backwards. So we're gonna, I'm actually just gonna walk down the mountain. Let's let's make this not as you know less as less challenging as possible. We always like we had a time limit, so we always try to jump off the mountain to get there faster. But we can just go the way we came before, I suppose. But much like the crate, if you jump with Chuck, yeah. Oof. Um, 
You increase speed. So let's jump down here. One thing I wish was that I wish you could carry Chukya to the different um, areas in the level, like through the pipe to the tiny island, but you can't. Um, he just disappears. So let's see. Okay. Ooh, close. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> wow. Anyways, um, so yeah, we would just have to get through here. Anything, this wind might, okay, it doesn't mess with me. <clears throat> if I jump, it messes with me, though. But uh, this is, yeah, this is basically the gist of what we would do. So I'm going to see, I don't know if I can actually get back. I think I'm stuck. So maybe we'll just go in the pipe to show you what happens. Unfortunately, nothing happens. <laughs> but, um... Okay, so I'm gonna actually gonna hop, and we're gonna go to Tall Tall Mountain. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of the the animal control stuff. So much like the, you know, a lot of people <laughs> always drop the penguin off the edge of the mountain, a uh, cool, cool mountain. Um, I always try to take the monkey down to different areas, drop him in water, see what happened. But um, the gist was that I was, um, Mario was here because there was a monkey on the loose. I had to basically bring the monkey home. <laughs> was what the, I guess the, um, actual quest was or what I had to do um but uh all right so I gotta remember if I want to go mystery of the monkey cave we're gonna do the last one because I think everything's already unlocked let's see Hey, she says, thank, thank you so much for the, the donation. <laughs> That's actually my, my first super chat. Um, she says, says, she says, says. That's a tongue twister. Um, Thanks for making us feel, think, feel, and bringing us back to our childhood. Um, I'm glad you appreciate that, man. Um, I, for those who don't know, I'm a huge fan of, um, she says his work with Boundary Break. Um, a lot of the stuff that he does is very, you know, sort of in line with some of the things, the way I create content. Um, for those who have, you know, watched way back in 2015, um, I had some Nintendo 64 videos I sort of implemented similar tactics in. But um, when I discovered She says his channel, um, geez, he probably had, like, he had just broken a thousand subscribers because I discovered him through Zelda Informer or Zelda Dungeon. But I knew, like, right away, I was like, this guy is such an awesome, genuine dude. <laughs> um, and honestly, I feel it's sort of a rare thing on YouTube sometimes. Like, you have people... Like, he truly cares about his audience so much. And it's... Um, and the stuff he makes is fantastic. And, you know, all puts a ton of work into all his things. So, yeah, that means a lot. You know, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, it's been a awesome watching your channel grow. So this is... Hmm. I can't remember the... Nope, nope. Don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and go over here and, and save. Because I need to... Same thing. I feel like I'm going to get knocked off this mountain. Um, let me see. Okay, I'm going to defeat this guy real fast before he... Before that happens. I'm going to attempt to get up here normally before I... Nope. <laughs> totally just... Totally just diving up there. Gonna... Go back up here. Jeez. Okay. 
I want to defeat this guy because he's just going to keep causing me problems. If I remember correctly, if he gets near an edge, he jumps back over you. Oh, maybe not. I can just grab him. <laughs> Mario, grab. <laughs> grab Mario. Please. <laughs> Cooperate with me, Mario. He's got your pizza hat. He needs a... Jeez. <sighs> I'm so rusty. And I should have saved after I killed this guy. To grab this hat, and I have to remember correctly because I think okay. I'm I don't know if I'm just remembering this incorrectly. I'm pretty sure you're able to pick up the monkey, unless I'm forgetting. I can't remember if the, if the idea was to get him near an edge, pick him up, and then. Maybe it's only on a specific level that lets you pick up the monkey and actually walk around with him. Let's see. Okay, man. Anyways. <laughs> because it's not going to work in this mode, so I'm not sure if I'm just completely remembering this inaccurately. Um, but the idea would be to get the monkey to fall into the water. Um, or to take him... Because I believe in one of the... On one of the uh, I'm going to fall off this, I know it. Um, one of the modes, he's actually on the top of the mountain, defaultly. Why don't we go... So, the idea was this. And I know I've explained it several times. Um, much like the box thing, you would have to take the monkey to specific locations or try to get him in, stuck in certain areas. Um, because we literally were trying to do anything to keep the game fun. But, um... So, yeah, you would have to, you know, different areas along the map. Um, and same thing with the penguin. So the penguin might actually be easier to do because I know right off the bat I can just do it without having to pick this, the specific um, setting or the specific star. So let's see. <clears throat> hey, FZone96, thank you. Um, the Undertale videos were a lot, a lot of fun to make. Um, that game reminded me a lot of the early RPGs I played when I was growing up. Um, it had been a, lot, a while since I, I had a feeling like that game gave me. Um, phenomenal game. Um, so I'm glad you enjoyed those videos. So Okay, so I'm going to pop up here now. So this is the same thing. I just had to take the penguin to different areas on the, on the map. Yeah. Can't even grab the penguin, that's how bad I am. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There's another really fun challenge here as well um, that can be done this level. Um, if anyone has watched, you know, knows what the green demon challenge is in Mario 64. Um, Jesus, penguin does not want me to grab him. Let's see. Come on. Okay. So, so most people, obviously, when they grab the penguin, the first thoughts are like, I want to drop this penguin off the mountain. Um, but it was... For me, I always try to get them to just different areas on the bridge down below that teleports you. Um, one thing I always wished I could do was get on the peak of this mountain. Um, because obviously you can just... This is an area I always wanted to go to, but you can't. Um, cause you can't stand on it. Um, you act, maybe, maybe you could actually stand on the very tip of it, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, this same thing beha behaves pretty much just like, um, the other versions. And actually, you know, this level was easier because this had a star you were supposed to get that, you know, you had to take the penguin down through the level. But, um, yeah, I just either thought I was animal control or something and I had to, you know, we would, my brothers would name off locations 
I would try to get there as fast as I could um, with the penguin. Same rules apply. The fast, the more you jump, the more speed you, you know, you, your speed goes up by, and then, then you lose the penguin, and then you die, <laughs> because that's how my luck is today. And Mario 64 is a cruel game. Everything just kills you. But um, I'm gonna see if I can get get the actual penguin to one of the areas that you actually don't need him at. Um, Okay, and then maybe we'll try we'll try the uh, the green demon challenge. Um, show you what that is. So if I touch the edge of this bridge, I'll teleport. But if I jump over it, I should fall to this area down here. Yeah. Don't walk off the edge. No. <clears throat> I catch up on the the chat real fast. Let's see. Mad Dog 101, was that the Q? I'm catching up in the chat. Was that a Q&A for um, my 60,000? Or were you referring to She Says as Q&A? Um, let's see. Hey, Mr. Fubar. Uh, thank you for checking out the stream. Just messing around on... Uh, Cool, cool mountain. Or at least I think that's what this is called. I know there's two, you know, two uh, snow mountains in uh, Mario 64, but uh, I actually want to get over there. We're gonna try to see if we can walk up this backwards. I can't remember if you're holding an object if you can jump up slopes backwards in Mario 64. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Um. So the, I guess the, uh, as a recap for the the types of jobs I had in this game, um, pizza delivery man, um, spa worker, or vacation um, resort worker, and that was a tiny huge island, um, animal control, which was at Tall Tall Mountain and Cool Cool Mountain, and then there's, I guess technically, <laughs> uh, Ghost Hunter, because I always I spent a lot of time looking for the ghoul medal um, at Big Boo's Haunt. So those are the four occupations um, that I had. I don't think I can get. He's gonna. If I walk over this, I think I'm gonna slide off and die. I guess we'll find. Yep. So that area down there you just saw with the um, the coin arrows, that would be a destination we would have to bring the penguin. In order to do that, you have to jump off and hold back. And try to get down there. Obviously, when you're down there, you can't do anything because there's nowhere to go. But um, that was one of the things. So we're we're gonna go back to the cool cool mountain real fast, and I want to show you uh, the green demon challenge. Now, this is not something I actually did when I was younger. Um, this is something I discovered later on. But I I thoroughly enjoyed this watching people do this. It's a pretty awesome challenge. So the premise is this. You start a level, you have to, um, so there's several trees, um, throughout Super Mario 64 that when they, um, you trigger an extra life from them, a one-up mushroom, it follows you. So I'll show you. So we'll start with the one down here. Um, so mushrooms that come out of blocks. So like this mushroom right here, there's a one-up mushroom in this box. You hit it, and the mushroom actually goes away from Mario. It, you know, I have to hunt after it and get it. Now, that's not like every single one in the game, though, because if you get secret one-up mushrooms, which I'll show you right here, so this tree over here... Are you, oh, jeez, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, this is like the most... How did Mario slip on that? It was like pretty much flat ground. Um, jeez. Okay, so we'll try this. So I'm gonna go straight to it this time. Because apparently Mario can't walk on that ground and it's just gonna kill him. So we're gonna go down this thing. Um, one of the trees down here has a one-up mushroom. And when you trigger this one-up mushroom, it behaves inversely um, than the one we just sh I just saw. So I'm going to save state before I um, do this because it's going to chase me down. And I'm gonna catch up in the chat real fast. Um, Amy Lercy. I still remember the 
the collab with She Says and Swanky Box did on BK64, um, Banjo Kazooie, Bonja Break. Well, thank you so much. That was a fun episode. Um, Ban you know, Banjo Kazooie had some challenges um, because of the camera, but uh, you know, we were able to work around it and kind of find some cool stuff. And I had discovered a lot of cool stuff in that game when I did. Um, Jeez, when I did my my Banjo Kazooie um, video on where Banjo Kazooie's world was in the in the world of Donkey Kong, um, so that was that was a lot of fun. It was kind of cool to recap that stuff. So as you can, as I'm 100% incorrect, it's it's not this tree. It's the tree over here. Um, Mr. Fubar, Swanky Box, favorite collab. My favorite collab. She says, you know, that was a lot of fun. We both make. We both use similar tools. We're both kind of, honestly, we're both sort of similar people too. Um, so that was a lot of fun to work on that one because we both had a complete understanding of what we were doing. Um, and we could just divide the game up. And it was kind of cool to share our uh, discoveries with one another. Um, another fun one, I have a, a friend named Nullitrum who makes theory videos. Um, that was another fun one. We did a RuneScape video I'm a big fan of RuneScape, played a lot growing up, but um, we did a, a theory video on it, and I did a, a video where I talked about what I actually learned um, in RuneScape. That was fun too, because it was just, again, we were just experimenting, having fun, and just creating stuff that on games we loved. So let's, okay, so this thing's following me. This is the Green Demon Challenge. Well, I'm not supposed to die right there, I missed, I missed in my jump. Um, so what happens is, let me show you. <clears throat> Ideally, you're supposed to, um, let's see. Ideally, what you're supposed to do is jump here, and you're supposed to long jump all the way over here so you get some traction. And I am being horrible at this. Normally, what you would do is <laughs> not get the mushroom right there. You make it down that slope, and then you... you basically run around the level with the mushroom following you. Um, and the goal is this. So I didn't explain the actual goal. You're supposed to collect all the red coins in the level while this mushroom is chasing you. So let's see if I can actually get this angle correct. <laughs> nope. But they actually just let me discover what I'm actually supposed to do. I don't think I'm supposed to jump. I think I'm just supposed to slide off. Let's try that. Let's just try running off this and see what happens. Nope. Jeez, I'm so bad. <laughs> um, XX uh, Ghost PR. I'm a huge Kirby fan as well. Um, someday I want to play some or do some videos on that stuff. I am not remembering this at all. But, uh, so as I keep sliding off this and trying to experiment how you're actually supposed to do it, um, Kirby was huge Kirby fan as a kid. Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Course. I want to do a video on Kirby's Dream Course at some point. Let's see if I can actually get this correct. Nope. Okay. If you slide next to the bridge, you'll make it across. Thank you, Smash Highlights. That's what I was, I was trying to figure out what the sweet spot was for sliding across. Um, I'll try that right now. Slide next to the bridge. Gotcha. Okay, so now this thing's following me. I have to collect the red coins in the level before it gets to me. Um, the thing is, the mushroom can travel in all directions. And it's gonna get me right now because I, I waited too long. <laughs> I had to, so. You have to basically get all the red coins and there's a teleport right there that will allow you to continuously loop the level and continuously put um, distance behind you and the mushroom as you go along. So I'm gonna get that coin later. I'm gonna grab this one and quickly teleport because as you can saw last time this thing just teleport Mario come on 
Oh, you know what? The teleport's not active on the first missions. So actually, I'm going to have to go to a later mission. Because I forgot, they don't have it for a... Uh... I think so, you can't just take the penguin down there right away. We'll do wall kicks will work. Dragon or Dragon Dragon, do you think Super Chat um, is a substitute for lack of ads? I think Super Chat is a, basically a way to compete with Twitch. Honestly, I mean to some degree, um, I'm not 100% sure why they actually put it out. Um, I just enabled it because it was there. <laughs> um, plus, you know, if anyone really wanted to get a you know, send a message, obviously, you know, any contributions are always appreciated. Um, Especially with ad revenue kind of tanking on YouTube, um, you know, creators we have to actually get super creative on how we can actually you know make a living doing this. Um, so any support through Patreon, um, you know, super chat or really anything else is extremely appreciated. Not just for myself, any of your favorite creators. Um, you guys really are the ones who enable us to actually create this stuff. Um, without you guys, we honestly would not be much because. You guys make what we are, so that's I think that's part of the reason why they la they rolled out super chat was just alternative ways that they could, um, you know, sort of get compensation to the YouTuber. Okay, so we're gonna try this now. I believe that, so. The teleport should work um, now that I am on a later mission. <clears throat> so let's find out. Jeez, oh, I I had too much speed. I was entering a parallel dimension, a parallel universe. Um, all right. So I should be able to teleport quickly. <laughs> Hopefully, teleport Mario. Teleport, teleport. Do something. <laughs> <sighs> Jeez. Let me test something. I can I can always reload that. I'm gonna test to see if this this teleport is actually even working. Um, because it should be it should be able to go from top to bottom of this level. Okay, so I guess I'm not I'm stopping in the wrong um area. Unless it's only one way. I mean, this shouldn't be one way. Let's find out. Okay, so I gotta stop where it starts aiming down. Let's remember that. <laughs> Mr. Fubar, is that a custom Mario logo or just what? So the, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna reload. Um, no, actually it's, <laughs> I was doing the pizza delivery first. So I, uh, I put a, a slice of pizza on his hat. Um, so that's actually what that, that logo is. But, um, no, so yeah, it's not, not normally the, the default, um, thing that Mario has on his hat. That's actually what I put, I put it there. All right. So I know I'm not gonna be able to complete this because I'm horrible. At this, honestly, like this takes a lot of practice to get the timing down, to get all the red coins. Honestly, I don't even remember where all the red coins are at. Um, I know there's one back in that corner I just passed up, but um, I figured I would just show you the gist of it. So, you basically are just supposed to keep going down around the mountain, getting the red coins while avoiding the one-up mushroom, and this is what people call the Green Demon Challenge. Um, there's some people who are really good at it. Um, I am not one of them. But this thing, you see, it just follows you no matter where you go. So you constantly have to use the speed of the mountain, Jeez. which obviously I'm not doing, <laughs> um, to continually put distance between you. But, um, so yeah, that's kind of um, what I used to do here. Um, obviously, I didn't do the Green Demon Challenge until later on, but uh, the animal control stuff is things that I did um, when I was younger, 
but um, I'm gonna catch up in the chat real fast. Let's see. <clears throat> Suze Fangoma. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly as I plummet to my death. Um, <clears throat> is there any way we can send you theories we made up ourselves? I had this really epic Kirby one I made a couple weeks ago. Um, Discord. So if the best way you can do that is through uh, my Discord chat. Um, we have a, a theory discussion section there. I'm always open to hearing your ideas. Um, even just talking about even theories on the channel. Um, if it's a good theory um, and we decide to do it, I would definitely work with you on the project. I mean, I can't obviously do every theory. Um, a lot of times the theories that I do are just because I enjoy playing that particular game. Um, so you know, I would definitely want to keep it fun for me. But uh, if you have anything you want to share, you know, I definitely recommend popping into the, the Discord chat. Um, you can find it in the channel header. Um, off to the right, you'll see the little Discord icon. You can just click on that, join the chat. Discord is a chatting program for gamers. Uh, we have a, I'm actually a Discord partner and I have a chat there. Let's see. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> XX Ghost PR. Swankybox, remember you are an inspiration to most who watch you. Um, videos and you and you show what it means to be a real gamer and you should remember that you're always important to someone and I hope that... Um, Thank you. It, that means a lot to hear that. Um, a lot of the stuff I want to do, a lot of times, you know, the stuff I create is just because I want to share it with other people. I want to inspire other people. I want people, all of you, you know, if you ever want to start creating, like, it's it's an interesting, uh, you know, angle you can take in life. And uh, definitely recommend, you know, checking it out. If any of your interests, you know, you don't even have to be a YouTuber. You don't even have to be a streamer. If you're interested in art, if you're interested in game design, like, don't neglect these things give them a try um and just really you know that's all that's all it is just giving it giving it a whirl seeing you know and figuring it out and just having fun with it you know that's the most important thing is you gotta just have fun um so that about wraps up the stream uh well i guess what i wanted to show in the stream i'll take a couple more questions um just because i know i've i've been bouncing back between the chat and i haven't caught everything but uh yeah i guess hope you enjoyed this uh me dying over and over again. But no, some of the things I did as a kid, because um, a lot of these things I just, I did them all the time. And this isn't the only game. There's so many games I did stuff in. Those who tuned into my Glover stream, my Super Mario Sunshine stream, um, very similar things. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me uh, check on the chat real fast. Let's see. <clears throat> a very sad Kermit. Big YouTubers put a lot of ads in their vids. It sucks. So there's a reason why big YouTubers, or really any YouTubers, pile on the ads. Um, one, you don't make a whole lot from ads. Two, YouTube will actually show your video to more people the more ads you have on it. Which sucks, because it's like one of those things where like, well, if I want more people to discover the video or find the video, you have to put more ads on the video because YouTube wants to make that money. <laughs> So they're like, oh, this has two ads on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show more people this video. Um, that's a big reason why you see multiple ads on stuff. Unless the, unless the YouTuber has such a great following that the ads don't matter in general. Um, you may see one ad, but a lot of times they put multiple ads on them. That's why PewDiePie or PewDiePie, you know, was putting on um, several ads and stuff like that because it, he knows that it shows. Obviously, he earns more, but his his videos have a higher chance of ranking. Um, Let's see what else. Let's see. <laughs> Derek Wortham. Okay, Game Theory Mario is actually Freddy from FNAF. <laughs> that would be comparable to um, the whole Ness and Sands thing. That would actually, if someone could connect the dots, that would be a highly entertaining theory, just for the sake of fun. Um, let's see. <clears throat> let's see. These are, let's see, swing. Welcome back, Scotty Animations. I'm actually gonna be signing off in a bit, but I'm just kind of um, looking at some of the different uh, questions that popped up in the chat. Um, I will be doing a lot of, uh, a lot more live streams in the future. Um, I just need to you know, pop into a more, I guess, a routine. Um, Cause I have a lot of stuff I want to share. There's just so much. And then the thing is like, I can just pull, fire up a game and play it and really um, just talk about some of the fun things I did. But um, 
The switch is now off. This, I mean, the, the stream was about an hour and ten minutes. Um, I guess it was, you know, maybe short by some standards. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I try to do... I try to... Basically, for my streams, I try to kind of figure out what I'm doing in the stream and, and the topic I'm covering beforehand. Um, and I don't think I could, you know, have this topic go that much longer because I did cover everything that I wanted to do. But um, uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, it was definitely a lot of fun. Anyone who is here, please check out Discord. Um, yeah, uh, Suze Fangoma, Discord, ha yeah, there's an app for Discord for your phone if you want to get it. Um, it's really just a chat room for gaming. Um, and I have one there and it's easier for me to talk to fans in there um, sometimes because I don't get notified for comments um, all the time anymore. So it's like, it can, you know, and also my comment sections and some of the videos, and some of the videos have like 15,000 comments. And I can't have conversations anymore because it's just, it's impossible. But, um, yeah, I, uh, definitely check out discord and, uh, yeah, like, thank you guys again. Thank you for coming out. And then I'll probably be streaming sometime next week as well. I have to decide what the topic is, but, um, yeah, definitely tune in for another uh, stream. Also video coming out this Saturday, um, tunoscopy. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty fun one. Um, for anyone who is following along on Twitter, that's another place if you can follow me on Twitter because I, I post little teasers of stuff. I also have a throwback video to one of my first Swanky Box videos. Um, one of my, you know, it's actually a very popular video on my channel um, that I'm working on. Um, so stay tuned. I kind of throw some things um, on Twitter. But uh, once again, thank you for tuning or coming in to the, the stream. And I'll see you guys all next week. Peace, deuces, cheers. <laughs>